Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Lord, this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not, Lord, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. So, Lord, we just we just come before you acknowledging your power. We come before you, Lord, revering your name, giving reverence, giving honor to your name, Heavenly Father, which is above every name on this earth and in heaven above. Thank you, God, for your power. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your guidance, Lord. Thank you for keeping us, Lord. Heavenly Father, there's only one way, and it's, it's through your son, Jesus Christ. So I pray, Heavenly Father, for those who don't know your son, for those who have not accepted your son, for those who are lukewarm about how they feel about your son, Lord. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you're stirring up something in them right now to, to understand and, and seek to understand your son all the more, to understand the plans that you have for their lives and how Jesus, how Jesus made a way for them to be able to have direct contact, communication and communion with you, Lord, that without your son, Lord, we would have nothing. We would be nothing, Lord, because we would have died in our sins a long time ago. So, Heavenly Father, I just pray for those who who are just unsure. They're uncertain and they need help. They need encouragement, Lord. You are the one, Lord, who reveals these things to us. You, Lord, will us to act according to your good purpose, Lord. You choose us, Heavenly Father. So th we thank you, Lord, that if we're even in this moment, desiring to hear more from you, desiring to know more about you, Lord, it's because you've stirred up something on the inside of us and we have that decision and we have that choice to make, whether or not we seek you out, whether or not we listen to you, Lord, whether or not we grow and go in the things that you're telling us to grow and go in. So Heavenly Father, I pray you be present, Lord, in each and every person's life, Lord, in a very individual type of way, in a very specific way for that person. We so often try to compare our lives and compare our walks and compare our journeys with other people, Lord, but you have something very specific for us, Lord. You have a very specific purpose. You have a very specific path. You have a very specific plan for us, Heavenly Father. So help us to just look to you, Lord, to not be distracted by what's going on around us with anything or anyone or any circumstance, Heavenly Father, but to truly fix our eyes and fix our gaze on you, Heavenly Father, to look up to you, Heavenly Father, to look down into your word, Lord, and read and, and hear from you, Lord, in a very strong and powerful way, because that's how you speak to us through your word, Heavenly Father. It is your word, Lord, and it is very living and active lord it is a double-edged sword it's our weapon lord against anything that the enemy may, might try to bring against us including sickness and disease so i just thank you heavenly father for your word lord and i thank you that at any moment in time when we're ready when we're wanting when we're willing lord we can come and get into your word there's there's applications there's bible apps lord there uh there's the printed version lord there's no reason why we can't get into your word, Lord. And even if we don't have access to even those things, Lord, you can write your word on our hearts, Lord, and we can meditate on what is within us, Heavenly Father. So be speak to your people, Lord. Give them each a fresh word, an individual word for them, Lord, and help them to act on it because we don't have to do anything in our own strength. We don't have to do anything in our own power. Your word says that when we are weak, that's when you are able to show your strength, Lord, in a very powerful way. So I just come before you, Lord, saying we're weak, Heavenly Father. We're weak physically, Heavenly Father. 
at times we're spiritually weak heavenly father sometimes we're emotional emotionally weak heavenly father but i thank you god that is in our weakness lord that that's when you show your strength lord and your joy is our strength lord so i thank you lord that not only do you show your strength lord but you give us joy within our lives so that we can stand up against whatever it is heavenly father that um, we need help in or we need strength in or we need encouragement in so i thank you god for your joy i thank you for your peace i thank you lord for your love which is the greatest of all these lord help us to love you lord with our all our heart all our mind all our soul and spirit lord and help us to love each other lord um, as we love ourselves. So I thank you, Lord. Help us to love ourselves, Lord, because some people struggle to love themselves, but we are all made in your image and we are all made with a purpose so we can love who you have created and know that you have created something special. It's in your precious name, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.